Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from mysocialu.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're gonna talk about two easy tricks you can use to find some YouTube video keywords. Keywords that people are already using to search on YouTube. And if you use those, guess what? You can attract those views to your videos and channel. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. All right, now let's jump right into this, and I'm gonna talk about two different methods that you can use to find some YouTube keywords that people are already using. Now, the first one is actually looking at your own data. So what we're gonna do is, so this is the first method. We're gonna go to YouTube Studio, which is right here. And then we're gonna go to, because if you're creating content, right, whether you're optimizing your content or not, guess what, people are finding your content on YouTube, and one of the ways they find your content is by searching on YouTube, because YouTube is a search engine. So, if you go to analytics, and now I'm gonna go to, uh, this is the main analytics, uh, click on the see more, and here is a lot more data. And then uh, from here, we're gonna focus on traffic source for this video. And if you scroll down, so most of my traffic is coming from YouTube search, surprise, surprise. Let's click on that. And now look at this. So this is gold. So these keywords right here, and I'm looking at the data for last 28 days. These are the keywords that are already driving traffic to my videos and my YouTube channel. This is amazing. And as you go through this data, as you go through this, some of these keywords, you will realize that maybe you did not intend to optimize for those keyword searches or for those uh, searches right here, these search terms. Look at this, Twitter analytics, how to write bold letters on Instagram. I don't think I try to optimize for this. I have something to do with how do you create Instagram captions and the different texts, but I don't have that exact search or that exact keyword. So guess what? When you analyze your data, you will find several different keywords. Zoom virtual background on Chromebook. I don't even use Chromebook, but here's the point. When you look at the data, these keywords are already driving traffic to your videos. And look, go through this list and you can look at the data for last 28 days or if you wanna uh, look at for longer period of time, you can do that as well. But go through this list and identify keywords that you have not specifically created content for. Guess what? If those keywords are already driving traffic to your channel, if you created content specifically keeping those keywords in mind or optimizing for those keywords, you are likely to get some more traffic. Very, very easy hack or tactic that you can use. WhatsApp room, look at this. Some of these keywords are amazing. I did not even optimize for these keywords. Uh, all right, so that was our method number one. Basically, to recap, you look at your own data, your traffic sources, and then you look at the search term that are already sending you traffic, and then you analyze and identify which one you did not optimize for in the past, and you can create new content, or you can go back and optimize your content based on these keywords, because they are already sending you some traffic. All right, now let's talk about method number two. And for that, we're gonna go to YouTube search right here, and let's take an example, let's say, Let's say I want to create content about Instagram Reels. So typically this is what people do. They come to the search bar and they type Instagram Reels and then if you hit space, and obviously these are the, some of the uh, searches I've done. Let's remove these. So here are suggestions from uh, YouTube. So one problem with that is, so Instagram Reels, so see my main keyword is Instagram Reels, but in all of these suggestions, so this is what people are searching for on YouTube. It put, YouTube is suggesting me different ideas by putting Instagram Reels in the beginning, in all of these, right? But if you think about this realistically, maybe people are searching for how to make Instagram Reels, how to use Instagram Reels, or you know different variations of those keywords or those these search terms, right? So how do you find those? Those are kind of like hidden. So by default, uh, YouTube is gonna show you searches or keywords like this by putting whatever you input in the search bar in the beginning of their suggestion. But watch this. So we're gonna go back to the beginning of that keyword and we're gonna put three uh, things in there. So the first one is star. 
then a backspace, and then a space. And now look at this. So how to use Instagram Reels, how to download Instagram Reels video. Wow, I did not even know that. It's super easy. A lot of people download the Instagram Reels video to use on, let's say, TikTok, right? To repurpose that content. How to save Instagram Reels in the gallery, how to get Instagram Reels, how to do Instagram Reels. You see how it's now many more variations from the first example. So this is how by using those three letters, you can get some hidden keywords that you don't see typically on YouTube. And again, it's star, it's right here, star, and then backspace, and then the space bar. That's it guys, you can use these two methods to identify some YouTube keywords and then create awesome, amazing content to attract more viewers and subscribers to your channel. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Subscribe, uh, leave those questions below in the comments. And also before you go subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. I am gonna see you in the next one. Bye for now.